Welcome to San Francisco, a city of creativity, community and cannabis culture. Today, we gather to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the San Francisco Dabba Do, which first took place in 2014. Although Dabba Do began its journey in 2013, it was here in San Francisco that the event truly found its West Coast spirit. What started as a small celebration has since grown into one of the most respected gatherings in the cannabis community. And this year, we honor a decade of passion, craftsmanship, and connection. At the heart of this event is Mila Jansen, the hash queen. This is her story and the journey of Dabba Do. Mila Jansen has dedicated her life to revolutionizing the way we make and appreciate hashish. From her days running Amsterdam's first coffee house in the 1960s, to her innovations in cannabis extraction, Mila has always been a pioneer. Her creations, the pollinator and iso later made hash extraction accessible to enthusiasts worldwide and cemented her legacy as the hash queen. One night I'm standing in front of my clothes dryer and I notice what the clothes are doing tumbling inside the dryer. And we just put a screen around the drum of the clothes dryer, put some I went inside and turned it on, and lo and behold, five minutes later, there's all the crystals lying at the bottom. Pollinators, we call them. Yes. Dabadu was born from Mila's vision to bring the cannabis community together to celebrate the art of resin extraction. I started the first Dabadu in uh, 2013 for my birthday. It was my 69th birthday and I just wanted to do something fun. It began as a birthday celebration, but soon transformed into a global phenomenon, showcasing the best traditional and modern extraction techniques. It was just going to be a one-time affair for my birthday and never again. But people liked it so much that uh, four months later we were in Barcelona and a few months after that, actually, we had our first Dabadu right here in San Francisco. And this is that 10-year anniversary of that Dabadu. I think since then we've had about 50 Dabadus. We travel all over the place and have them through Europe. And right after this, tomorrow, actually, I'll be flying to Mexico, where we'll have a Dabadu in Guadalajara and then on to Costa Rica, Peru, Argentina, Brazil, and finally Colombia. And everywhere, we'll be having a dab do The one in Colombia will also have my 80th birthday party. And that's my near future. <laughs> Today, dab do honors 10 years of innovation, friendship, and community. In 2014, dab do came to San Francisco for the first time. The first Dabba Do in San Francisco in 2014, I attended it, and it was a wonderful thing. Uh, Ed Rosenthal, I believe DJ Shore was there. You had Todd McCormick. There was uh, Jorge Cervantes. Um, it was a wonderful event. We came together in this passionate way in such a long time ago. I had heard about this concept. They were doing the Dabba Do's. I had went to one Dabba Do in Colorado, and I had the opportunity to be a part of this amazing thing. And I participated in setting up the Dabba Do in 2014 with Nick T, Dougie for Hitman Glass. That event was extremely special. It was a small, intimate gathering where people were just starting to explore new possibilities in cannabis resin extraction. The entries then were solvent and solventless. It was the first press, the, and I forget that guy's name, but... He had the first rosin press going on. It was just incredible. Like people lined up and all they had was buds. They weren't even doing like little rosin bags or anything like that. It was like all just buds. And the, the line was for days. Dabadoo is about community. It's about hash. And it's a celebration of Mila. And it's somebody we all love very much. You know, to be a part of something so special, that that's why I feel like I'm here. I, I live for those moments and those experiences where I can be part of something so much bigger than myself. Mila brought together a community of enthusiasts who were eager to share their passion for hashish. The atmosphere was electric, filled with a sense of curiosity and camaraderie. You had uh, uh, Hitman Glass, 
Marlon Asher was like the entertainment. When Mila came into America at that point, DJ had gotten her together with Spoiled Rob, which is Spoiled Patients Collective, who's one of the goats for separating lipids, fats, waxes, getting down to distillate, you know, uh, Delta 9, Delta 8, along with holy water. You know, it it, it goes back real far. Davidu is, uh, has a special place in my heart right now because I was in a room full of people who love cannabis. I don't think there was one person in that room who didn't love cannabis. And that's a kind of rare thing for our community these days. And I think it's a really precious thing that uh, that we had for many years. And so seeing this community have a place, really important function. That first event was a symbol of the cultural shift happening within cannabis, a move toward quality, craftsmanship and community. Even then, it was clear that this gathering was something special. But that first one in America was something that was just extremely unique. And here it is back now. And it's a great thing to see how far she's come. And she's over 50 to this point. It's incredible. But to be a part of the 10 year anniversary and to be here and to be doing this right now are just incredible to see where it has come because it was so organic and like gray market at the time and you know almost secret like you had to call in find out where it was you know you really couldn't put it on the thing she was by herself at that time too so her little crew wasn't with her and to again to see where she's at with her books and the class and the level of bougie that's here now and the professionalism and to see all the young folks because I'm I'm an older dude at this point to see where it's went and how professional and how clean everyone is is just incredible Fast forward to today, and the essence of Dabadoo remains the same. Everyone here is a judge. This inclusivity is what makes the event truly unique. Participants from all backgrounds come together, united by their love for resin and the desire to celebrate the craft. As I don't usually like all these cups and competitions where you only have a few judges, I determined to have a hash competition where everybody is a judge. I can respect everybody's knowing what they like best. We get people from all over the world. We got people flying in from Canada. We've got people from as far as Florida in the U.S., Humboldt County, L.A. We got a bunch of L.A. entries. Uh, there is some amazing hash from Morocco that, that somebody entered. I mean, we have tons of really, really cool stuff. And Dabadu is just so much more than that. It's like carrying on the legacy of Mila being able to also celebrate her and give something back to the community. I think I've been to uh, like four or five Dabadus. I've been to uh, Barcelona a couple times, Colombia, uh, Mexico. Super excited to um, have everybody here and to be helping Mila with this and uh, to be kicking off her 2024 Dabadoo tour. We got a lot of great entries, a lot of great hash. There's over a pound of hash being smoked here today. I mean, that's pretty incredible. I think we have 100 people to smoke a pound of hash. We got the whole crew here, Focus V, Rosin Tech, James, make a tea. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna smoke some good hash. There's more than enough hash to go around, more than enough hash for everybody to try all the different amazing entries. We have bubble hash, we have rosin, and then we have traditional and temple balls. So those three categories are what we're judging today. And, you know, I'm just blessed to be a part of this thing. At Dabadoo, the competition celebrates the artistry of resin extraction, with three categories that showcase the diversity and craftsmanship in the world of concentrates. Let's take a closer look at each one. First, we have ice water hash. This concentrate is made using a solventless extraction method that preserves the purity of the plant. By agitating cannabis plant material in ice-cold water, the trichomes, tiny, resinous glands rich in cannabinoids and terpenes are separated from the rest of the plant. Once collected and carefully dried, what's left is a high-quality hash known for its potency and smoothness. Next up is rosin. Another solventless concentrate, rosin is created by applying heat and pressure to cannabis flower, keef, or hash. This process results in a sticky, resinous substance that's rich in both cannabinoids and terpenes. Rosin has quickly become a favorite in the concentrate world for its pure, clean flavor and high potency. Finally, there's the temple ball, a traditional type of hand-rolled hash known for its distinctive shape and silky texture. 
Made by pressing high-quality trichomes into a dense, rounded form, temple balls have a rich terpene profile and are known for their potent effects. Each entry is presented anonymously, labelled only by a number. This ensures a focus on the quality of the product, rather than its origin. We are getting ready to get all these uh, out to the people. We're doing intake right now, last minute intake, but we're uh, numbering everything so that it's anonymous, so that people don't know what's what necessarily. Uh, we have a lot of amazing entries, three categories. We've got rosin, we've got water hash, and we have traditional slash temple balls. Really amazing stuff. I I've seen them come in over the last month and it's nothing but spectacular. I'm seeing the best of the best. And I judged Canafest 2024. There was amazing stuff there too, but this is just really special. Participants rate each entry across four categories. Smell, look, taste, and effect. Actually, I always feel that a Dabadoo is uh, like a wine tastery. You get 20 bottles of good wine and you get a, a bunch of people and you know they're going to have a good time. And it's kind of the same with the Dabadoo because everybody who comes there loves hash. And there's competitors and some of those entries are fantastic. The same day, everybody has to try all the entries and vote for them. And at the end of the day, we'll know who the winners were. We are judging each entry on a scale of one to five based on these different categories, look, taste, effect, and smell. We're going through each one of the entries one by one. Each judge will write down their favorite first, second, and third place. Then we're gonna tally it up at the end and announce the winner at 9 p.m. tonight. First comes the smell. Each judge inhales deeply, exploring the rich terpenes, those aromatic compounds that make each sample unique. The look is next, with judges examining the color, texture and consistency of the resin. The golden shine of a well-made rosin or the rich dark tones of a classic hash tell their own stories of care and craft. Then there's the taste, arguably the most enjoyable part. Each judge takes their time savoring the flavors, whether it's floral, spicy, or earthy. The effect completes the experience. The way each entry feels, whether it's relaxing, uplifting, or somewhere in between, adds the final touch to the score. The judging isn't just about finding a winner. It's a collective experience where people share notes, debate their favorites, and enjoy the moment. The true magic of Dabadoo is the community it creates where cannabis enthusiasts from different backgrounds come together to celebrate their shared love of resin. Mila Jansen is at the centre of it all, smiling and interacting with attendees, sharing stories from her journey. The atmosphere is electric, with people exchanging ideas, enjoying the company, and remembering why they fell in love with hashish in the first place. For Mila, Dabadoo has always been about more than just competition. It's about connection. What I like about Dabadoo most is that nobody's looking at their phone, Mila says. Everyone's communicating, whether they're from the same part of the world or not. As the night comes to a close, the scores are tallied and the winners are announced. Cheers erupt as the top three entries in each category are celebrated. For these extractors, it's a recognition of their dedication, craftsmanship, and the countless hours spent perfecting their products. But the prizes are just part of the story. The real reward is being part of this community, one that values craftsmanship, creativity, and connection. Here at Dabadoo, everyone is a winner bound by the shared journey of exploring and celebrating cannabis resin. I am just like ecstatic right now. Like everything I feel like that we've worked hard for is on the table right now. And we've really been pushing ourselves to like become the, like one of the best. And it just feels good to come in here and 
have that experience with you guys and I respect a lot of the other work on the table and just like this right here wasn't easy. It was not. Uh, this is a great competition. Thank you so much for having it. It's uh, really awesome to be here. So. As we celebrate 10 years of Dabadoo, we also celebrate the incredible impact of Mila Janssen. From Amsterdam's underground cannabis culture to the global phenomenon that is Dabadoo, her journey has been one of passion, perseverance, and an unwavering love for hashish. Mila was doing it before anybody else was doing it. Uh, she wasn't just the best at what she did, she was the only person who did what she did. She was and is a pioneer, and she's always had deep roots in the cannabis community. She's always been present, whether we were in fashion or we were out of fashion, and a lot of transitions like that have happened over the years, whether you know, we are at the height of the drug war or whether we were soaring on the success of legalization. Mila's legacy lives on, not just in her innovations, but in the community she has built. This event is really a celebration of one person, and that's her legacy. Is it the, this event is her legacy, and that's Mila. So thank you guys. As we look to the future, Dabadoo continues to embody her vision and event, where cannabis lovers from all over the world can come together, learn, and celebrate the art of resin extraction. And I just want to present you with the queen herself, Mila. Thank you so much. It's been wonderful to be here. I really enjoyed myself. It's just magic that mirror. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for everything that you've done. It's been my pleasure. And I love you all. Love you. Just stay high. Here's to 10 years of Dabadoo and to many more ahead. This is more than just an event. It's a family, a movement and a celebration of the beauty of cannabis and the connections it fosters.